Well, folks, the All Blacks have indeed swung the axe. I will uh, try to keep this one quick as my voice is still somewhat on the road to recovering back to normal. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of coaching changes in the All Blacks setup. Fozzie is obviously still there. Uh, Sam Kane is still captain, but they have axed a couple of the assistants. Uh, Brad Moore and uh, John Plumtree have both lost their roles as forwards and backs coaches uh, assisting Fozzie. They are out, and uh, the Crusaders and uh, Fiji forwards coach, Jason Ryan, he's in. So he's taken Plumtree's job as uh, as forwards coach, coach and uh, for the moment, uh, Fozzie is going to look after the backs. So I'm not quite too sure how to feel about this one. It's a, it's a weird situation because it was, I think, maybe less than a year ago when Fozzie got his extension that he kind of endorsed these fellas to, uh, to resume their roles and get their contracts extended as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really a little bit, a bit bemused how this is the right answer. Um, I know there's been uh, a lot of focus on the All Blacks coaching ticket at the moment, and there's been um, and there's been a lot of talk from fans in other countries saying, "Man, would you guys get over yourselves? Uh, you just got beaten by a better team." And personally, I don't think too many uh, All Blacks fans begrudge Ireland that win because they played bloody well. Uh, I think most All Blacks fans are just a bit frustrated that we don't seem to be playing well at all and it goes beyond just that Irish series. So, um, yeah, I do feel like there's a uh, a feeling that the All Blacks coaching staff up until this point, recent times and a bit longer, haven't been getting the most out of the resources they've got. That's not to take anything away from other teams, but, um, yeah, the All Blacks just seem to be a bit lackluster. So, um, yeah... I say it's a weird one because, I mean, I can only compare it to my own work-life situations. I've had managers who liked to micromanage me and check everything I did, and I've had managers who just let me do whatever I wanted. I'm not sure what Fozzie's management of Plumtree and Moore was like. I'm assuming he was giving them some kind of direction, and he seemed happy enough with it that their contracts were extended. But I get the feeling he's been told someone's head needs to roll. So it might as well be these guys. And then they're going to get someone like Jason Ryan, who's been right-hand man, to um, Scott Robertson at the Crusaders. Someone who knows success, someone who knows a winning game plan, to um, to come and help out. So, yeah, it's it's a bit of a weird one, folks. Um, yeah, I, I'm kind of struggling with the fact that everything was hunky-dory less than a year ago. And uh, suddenly these guys face the chop. It's not to say that these guys were doing a fantastic job. Obviously, the All Blacks, as I say, have looked kind of lackluster for a wee while. Um, so, yeah, we will see what kind of changes or improvements are made here. Um, but, yeah, Fozzie's going to get some help from a guy who certainly knows some winning ways. And if we see a dramatic improvement in the Fords, then uh, maybe we can thank Jason Ryan for a bit of that. And uh, if nothing changes, maybe problems with New Zealand rugby's depth go um, go deeper than some of us think they are. But anyway, there you go, folks. There's some um, some coaching changes. Obviously, as we uh, say, these guys are all human, so we feel for the likes of Moore and uh, Plumtree for for copping the brunt. Essentially, it seems like the kind of um, what do you call it? Not a sacrificial lamb. You know, when you've got a sacra scapegoat, there you go. Knew it was an animal of some kind. It feels a little bit scapegoaty, but uh, as I said, um, the All Blacks haven't looked like they're following any kind of particular direction or game plan at the moment. And for mine, that kind of comes down from the top. That's where you get your strategic direction from. Uh, you might be asking, where's Joe Schmidt and all this? Remember, he is a selector first and foremost. He's not traveling. He's not traveling to do coaching or whatnot. And uh, he's taking the role of um, opposition analysis. Yeah. To try and kind of get in the heads of the other teams and see how they might play and how the All Blacks might disrupt. But um, yeah, my voice is about to go. So I'm going to quit it here. 
You guys let me know your thoughts. Congratulations to Jason Ryan. We'll see if he's able to give some um, some spark to what the All Blacks uh, seem to be lacking at the moment. But anyway, you guys take care, and uh, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.